Well, good morning. It is Tuesday, April 20th. It's Tech Tuesday. Happy tip of the coffee cup to you this morning. Coming to you from Southwest Virginia, where it is sunny and bright today. So gotta love that, right? <clears throat> This morning, I wanted to do a little technical talk about voiceover and some of the important things that is uh, critical when you're a voiceover artist. Having a professionally treated sound studio is critical. Uh, you've never heard a commercial with trucks going by and airplanes and mowers and stuff like that on purpose. It's probably added later if you heard it, but they really don't like that when you have a sound recording. In fact, noise floor is what one of the measurements are of how good a home studio is or any studio right so the the interesting thing about sound is that if you get a room too quiet it actually sounds bad because our ears are used to hearing ambient sound so you know the noise floor of about 60 and in maybe to 65 negative 60 to negative 65 decibels is about where you want now, if a mower is at 110 decibels, we got to go down through quiet talking, where I'm right now, maybe at about 12 or so decibels, then down to zero, and then down to negative 60. How it works that way or why it works that way is not this tech talk. So we want to get a low sound floor. That means if I just stand here in my studio, you may hear a little bit of ambient, but you basically hear nothing. There's no furnace running, there's no cars going by, the guy's not mowing, and I can't record when they're mowing. But anyhow, I've got a very quiet sound studio. I average between negative 58 and negative 62 on the scale. Pretty good, and then with a couple filters, I can get it even lower. Interesting that when you submit to audiobook places, if your noise floor is too low, they reject it because it doesn't sound natural to the human ear. So they want some ambient, just tone that, that the ear is used to hearing. But what I also want to talk to you about is the fact that while my almost my entire life I've been told I've got a great voice. Okay, that's wonderful, but if you don't know how to use your instrument, it's it really doesn't serve you well. Assuming that I do know how to use my instrument, that's the, the audible part of what I'm doing for you as a voice artist. What you don't know about is the stuff I'm not giving you as a voice artist. So we just talked about noise. So just general, nice, quiet, no echoey, no boomy, nice, quiet sound floor. It sounds natural. Some of the other things they don't want you to give them is mouth noise. And, you know, if you're clicking and doing all kinds of things, that's usually not good either. Nobody wants to hear all that. And then in some recordings, you want to take out the breaths. Why? In a lot of commercial stuff, we, we don't have time for breath. Um, and it doesn't serve anything. Um, having that breath right now sounds natural because we're talking and you, you know I have to breathe. But in a commercial, that quarter of a second that it took me to breathe may be a quarter second I need to fit in your 30-second slot. So we take those out. A lot of, a lot of other times we'll quiet them. Um, there's times in a script where a breath is, oh, Martha, why did... Okay, it works there. But sometimes if you're doing something quiet, um, it doesn't work so well. So as voiceover artists, we learn to do a short breath and just take a little breath like that and just not breathe that heavy, big thing. When you're doing a fast, um, high-energy clip, you get a lot of breathing. Interesting side, back to audiobooks, they don't want audiobooks. They don't want your breath taken out because, again, I'm reading to you. And so in you know when you're reading to your child, when you're reading the paper to somebody, whatever, the breath is a natural part of that existence. So talking both about what we give you as a voiceover artist as far as acting and performance and all that, but yet what we don't give you. We don't give you noise. We don't give you background uh, unless you ask for it added. Um, we give you a nice quiet file. So if your business, your organization, your nonprofit has a commercial an explainer, um, uh, an intro that needs made to introduce your product or service or YouTube channel or whatever, I can record that for you. Send me a script and let me look at it and give you a quote. Um, and we can see, you can take that to the radio station and say, here, I want this played. And they'll play it. You're paying for the ad spot, right? 
anyhow, happy to do that for you. Thank you for joining me on uh, Tech Tuesday. I, I hope you learned a little something about sound. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe below. And uh, hope to see you again tomorrow. Thanks for joining.